And we've filled it with stuff. You know, I should really just drop everything in the private locker here. But we're not going to take up the mountain. <laughs> Rather than the doctor. But you know what? Uh, not the end of the world. Okay, so if we're going to the doctor, we're actually not going on the roads. <laughs> need to go down under the roads, which is nice enough to let us go under. Okay, this bridge actually... Pointless. <laughs> Again, literally pointless. There's a bit that we literally could have driven up. 10,000, 100,000 likes. Or a pointless bridge that someone can literally just drive. This one, 100% vital though. Yeah, 140,000 people use this one. 40,000 people drive around that pointless bridge, but you know, it's, it's kind of just there to do things, isn't it? Okay, I have your very, very time sensitive stuff, Dark, in 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> Again, I would have reduced the time if I could. But I don't know how you actually do that. <laughs> okay, easy. Here you go. Lots of stuff. Lots of deliveries. Ah, the porter. Excellent. Enjoy your deliveries. Excellent. Everything appears to be in perfect condition. Yeah, because I came the long way around rather than take it over the BT territory. It was not a good idea to do that. <laughs> Precious chemicals. Okay. That was the time limit A ranking. I guess I could have been faster. <laughs> Olive drab. You've got lots of stuff. Hmm. Steely, steely. <laughs> Just provided hologram data. More Kyrelium, more olive drab. I'm stealing all of your Kyrelium, though. Okay, experimental medicines that, again, maybe S rank, I'll take it. Just waiting for the stuff that went. 16,000! That was an S ranking! 18 times the shortest route, nearly 19 times, because we went right the way round. <laughs> Somehow an S rank. I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, and then the bot delivered some stuff that got really, really damaged. 100%. Okay, some got completely destroyed. <laughs> One light because it was 90% damaged. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> it was kind of not good. These bots so, say. I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more What's than that? To it. High capacity blood bags. Okay. Interesting. I can't attach them to my suit. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right, so everything else is in the cargo beds. Right, we've got lost cargo so that I don't know where they go in. Do remember not to neglect your health. Well, at least you gave me some blood so that I'm Good not order. neglecting it. They got orders. Uh, I'm not going to the robotics anytime soon. Large containment of emergency medical. That is a large consignment. 720 kilos. I can take stuff to Mountain Not Busy. But literally, we're right next to that. It's a shame I can't set the time limit. <laughs> or at least I don't know how to, because... Easy. Okay, we've literally... freed up all the stuff. I, I can do this in two minutes. Easy. 30 minutes. I need to steal your stuff first, though. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take... I mean, we've got room for ceramics now. How many kilos? I didn't pay attention. Probably should have. <laughs> also going to take all your metals. Okay, I'm sure that that'll all fit in the truck. Copium. 
It perfectly did, but we've got weight on our back. And I'm worried about that. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. <laughs> you have too much stuff on your back. Four seconds wasted. Okay, uh, make delivery. Deliver lost cargo. The engineer to the elder. Craftsman. Chiral artist, drum director. This is kind of the furthest away from any of this that it could be. <laughs> you know what? Enjoy! It gives me room to get into the trap. That's all that matters. <laughs> Probably could have delivered a lot of that. You know, and I think we should have dropped some of that off on the way. And, you know, closer to its destinations on the way. But... Fine. <laughs> and some of it we took even further away than where it started. Okay, that gives me the ability to get into my truck. That's all that matters. <laughs> we get some life out of it. Okay. okay, that car couldn't have been parked in a worse position, but thankfully I can turn... Okay, it nearly <laughs> went off a cliff because it got caught on that rock. Thankfully, I can turn it in a narrow area. Okay. It's truck too powerful for its own good, so let's not forget that. Again, you really should not have built this bridge. It's kind of fun. Okay. This isn't my truck, so I don't care if I run the batteries down. <laughs> you know, we're literally just going to drop it off in here anyway. Okay. For a moment I was like, is that going to hit the thing? I told you, less than two minutes and we might have even been able to do that with dinner. If I... Well, we would have. If I hadn't have had to go back into the thing for like five seconds. And see if it didn't take him so long to get out of the truck. But two minutes, definitely. No problem. <laughs> okay, I have your stuff. Very, very time sensitive. As quick as it possibly could. The freshest. I pressed the turbo button. <laughs> no, I just ran that fast, you know. I, I'm just a very, very quick runner. With 280 kilos. Yeah, no problem. Easy run. <laughs> 1.4 times the minimum distance, though. So, you know. I wonder if people have, like, zip lines set up just between there and there. <laughs> like, <laughs> then you could get it done in 10 seconds. Just jump on the zip line. Okay. So... We're not taking this up the mountain with us. So, you are getting stored here. And all of the stuff inside of it. <laughs> not mine. I mean, that's for an order, but that's not for Mountaineer. The Mountaineer... Okay. So, we're not actually going up there. We're going, like, down there. And then there's the V-chip there. Okay. I mean, that would bring him on the network. You know what? Actually, there is a sensible safe path out that avoids all the BTs. Uh, there's BTs here, so the intended path is to, like, go up there. But if I go up the mountain into here, into the middle of the snow, but where the rainfall isn't, there's a literal path through it without timefall, which means no BTs. <laughs> which means no BTs. And I like the sound of that. I like the sound of not having to deal with BTs along the way. Now I wasn't going to try. Okay, the fact that he was just looking up the mountain like he was, uh... Weapons restrictions lifted. I'm trying to... Take the car. <laughs> just... Take the car. 
Okay, we're gonna drive the path away. You know, it's getting dumped up the mountain. Let's face it. <laughs> if it even gets up the mountain, you know. Well. That's a lot of ceramics. I'm not one to look a ceramic horse in the mouth and say nay. <laughs> now we're not going to be carrying that on our back and there's a good chance we lose it in the truck and I should probably put it into a private storage. But, <laughs> you know, when like 800 ceramics are just sitting there on the floor? I wonder if that's like excess from other people putting it into the road and then it becomes just available for other people to grab. Just give it a yump up the cliff? No, Sam, I'm pressing left while you're driving that way. My god. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know if this car's got what it takes to drive up the hill, you know? <laughs> If he could just drive straight where I'm telling him to, that would be lovely. Okay, if I go this way, it's actually a little easier to drive right. There we go. I see the BTs. Okay, if I'm smart, a Stonehenge is so... Curious. Okay, we don't follow that, we go right until we hit a watchtower. Now it does say we're in the snow. Okay, there's 100% BTs in that Stonehenge bit. I'm sure of it. It doesn't look like it. But then again, you know, we couldn't see the actual BTs that were meant to be here either, could we? <clears throat> yeah, awkward, Sam. Lou isn't here. How does the car drive in the snow? Probably not the worst. Okay. Yeah, no. So... We drive through until we hit that boss tower. <laughs> and we don't drive on two wheels, Sam. I... Hey, mine's out <laughs> Okay, you don't need to brag. They're carrying one thing. You've got a car. You might be carrying like 600 kilos of weight, but... You know, you're also in a car where... <laughs> Mine's heavier! Yeah, it's it's not on your back, it, it's in the back of your truck. That's not impressing anyone, Sam. Okay, so... Solid, hard, left. There's a path. I see the BTs on the left, if I... Follow this path up this hill. Well, there is one literally at the top of the hill. <laughs> okay, so... This might be harder to navigate than you think. Senzu Bean! Hello, Island Dweller. How good's the Death Stranding journey? Not bad. We are trying to do a delivery of the snow without BB, so we can't actually... Uh, detect the BTs. <laughs> so we can kind of see them when I can see them, like the strands in the sky. But when we're really close to them, we can't. And that's a problem. So we are trying to get ourselves back on track. But how are you? How's your day going? We have gone too far up that way and that is... <laughs> Don't fall reverse down the hill. Okay, you're gonna wedge it on the side of the hill. It... <laughs> Car not very good at driving in snow. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Probably should have put on snow tyres. I wonder if that's even a thing. No! Don't slide down the hill! <laughs> okay, we are turning around. <laughs> Damaged just a bit. <laughs> Things are going well. <laughs> you know, I saw it was already on fire. 
when it when okay don't take the truck up the hill no seeds oh no well i mean they <laughs> they were nice while they were there <laughs> but those uh, 800 ceramics that we just picked up kind of also got destroyed by the rolling thing okay we really shouldn't have no rest for the wicked <laughs> that was clearly not the smartest thing to do okay it turns out we didn't even need to drive up that way anyway. If I'd have just paid attention to the map, we're actually going this way. <laughs> that way. Yeah, just literally straight on till the morning. That way. We could have saved the truck if I hadn't have driven all the way up there. It would have been fine. Okay, yes, there's going to be snow. Yes, there are BTs that way. I'll avoid them. <laughs> You know, the, I kind of knew it was a bad idea to take the truck. I didn't expect it to roll down the hill and explode, though. <laughs> okay, the guy's going to be a bit mad that we kind of bumped up all of his medicine that we're bringing him. I'm sure that's not a problem. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're also from Islands of Insight as well, then, considering the island dweller. How did you find it? How much did you play? Boom, 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 boom. Got a bit of a journey ahead of us, but as long as we can keep out of the time fall and away from the BTs. <laughs> now, considering the uh, the big cliff that we got ahead of us, that might be an issue. <laughs> but we're gonna try. We are certainly going to try. But don't fall, Sam. You've already had one nasty fall. I don't think the cargo can take another. But this is fine. It's a little bit of a climb, but it's fine. Now get out of the snow so that you can... You are the worst, Sam. You know that. You are the worst. Get up! At least he's not damaging the cargo. He's just roughing his face in the snow and down the entire mountain. That was literally a climbable piece of cliff. <laughs> drink some energy drink. All you had to do was climb up it, not rub against it like an idiot. And he went, what? <laughs> rub against it? The same button to climb. Okay, now he's got a literal, literal whole mountain to climb. I know you're going to be exhausted. You know, if you'd have just climbed that one little piece when I told you to, rather than rub against it, <laughs> you wouldn't have had this problem, Sam. You would have been up there. Okay, now, now, that would that have been too much to ask on that one little bit of rock that I wanted you to mantle up? <laughs> was that too much to ask? I guess. Now he's stuck on that piece. <laughs> there you go. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay, we need to head up that very obvious bit there. I'm still... Okay. Because <laughs> I don't trust you to do this again. Great. Great jump. I didn't want you to jump. Okay. Because I don't trust you to climb it. <laughs> we can put a ladder up there. <laughs> and you can climb that. There you go. There you go. Easy way. <laughs> Now, he could have climbed it without a ladder, but considering the mess he made of that, I think I'd rather... Sam, you can mantle up that. You've mantled up lower. Don't tell me I needed the ladder for this. Don't tell me you're not going to climb this last little bit that you could easily 
mantle up because you've mantled up harder rocks than that. Like, it's right there, the nice looking path. It's it's right there. What was that, Sam? <laughs> what was that? The effort I make to go the nice way that has no ETs. Is it because there is no physics? Yeah, no, okay. The game dev said there is no physics here. Like, there's a lot of red things. There's some yellow up there, but... Fine. There's some yellow up there. But there's literally no existing floor here. <laughs> the floor does not exist here because the game dev says no. Like, there's literally pieces of the mountain that are, like, Z-clipping there as well. I don't expect anyone to go this very obviously safe route. I don't expect anyone to be smart. <laughs> nope! <laughs> Oh, uh, piece of mountain that Sam can climb, but we haven't actually programmed ledges. Have fun. You are supposed to go around in the snow in the BT territory. You're not supposed to be smart. <laughs> okay, the time fall might be coming in. Now, this is a problem <laughs> because... <laughs> Managed to grab the ladder. Getting back down is a lot harder than going up. Now, if I had the ladder up there, 100% we could ladder over that and cheese over the stupid physics. That don't exist where they should. <laughs> you know, you've spent all this... That also doesn't have physics to stand on. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess we're going back up the way that we miraculously survived the car crash. <laughs> going all the way back up here and around the long way. I mean, it's fine, we lived, but, you know, he can climb that. <laughs> if they had actually programmed, because if I scan here, Okay. Interesting. Normally, you can see blue terrain where you're able to walk. Maybe it just doesn't exist because it's snow. Okay, I can see blue terrain above the yellow there. Maybe I'm just not seeing it very well. But normally, you can very obviously see the blue terrain. Okay. I mean, we are... Right, where's the direction of it going? That way? That way. <laughs> okay. Very easy to get lost in. Okay, you see the blue dots floating above the snow. They're actually quite high above the snow. Okay, we're out of the, uh, the time fall. This is surely safe to go down. <laughs> He says. Okay, we will use, if necessary, the mountaineering gear that we got. Because we have got some uh, things. Now, there's a secondary problem here. <laughs> and that is, whilst we're going down, there is another mountain to climb up afterwards. <laughs> so... Okay, this is a very steep cliff. Okay, so we're going down here. This is probably <laughs> harder than some of the routes we could have taken. <laughs> but it's a more interesting route. And you know, it avoids going through BT territory. 
It just has its own challenges to deal with, like exploding trucks and wasting ceramics. Those 800 ceramics that he blew up feels bad, man. They could have gone into building a nice little road. Okay, let's go as far down as we can. Four, three, two, what is that? that... <laughs> okay, there's some ceramics and stuff. Okay, we need to head back up this. It sort of looks like there's a path. There's literally the Stonehenge that we saw ages ago. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I want to go particularly the obvious and visible route because although I'm not seeing the BTs, the BTs are 100% actually right there, right there, right there. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we can avoid those. We'll go back up this hill a bit and over this way. And there are some far over that way, but as long as we avoid those, then it's fine. So we get the proper means to scan with BB. I'd rather not. <laughs> now, this does look a concerning slope that he might fall on his ass. Okay, there's BTs at the top of this, but we're not going all the way up there. We're going up this very steep slope here. They'll be fine. <laughs> Copium. It will be fine. There you go. We're going to get some snow. But that was too expected. Okay. Bam. Okay. Drink some more monster. Okay, you've actually got loads. Loads of monster. Okay. Up still, because you're actually about to slip down the slopes, and we don't want that again, do we? You do we, Sam? Look me in the eye. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> and it happens to the best of us, but we don't want you sliding down the slope again. Post box. Capital, not city. Well, we're not going back that way anytime soon. You know, other people can build the post boxes, it's part of the missions. We should have really rested in the facilities and got extra stamina for doing this, because I kind of knew that we'd need a lot. But did we? No. And did we take a much more challenging route than just fighting through BTs? Probably. <laughs> Is there a chance that we still might have to fight some BTs? It's not. You can make it. <laughs> this is just way too steep. It's giving up talk. That's what quits are saying. You're basically at the top of it. I don't care what complaints you have, Sam. You're there. It's just way too steep. No, it ain't. You're there. Like... <laughs> You've got over the hard bit. I know you need to rest up a little. I mean, I'm not going to go all the way up there. Don't fall over. Stop, Sam. Oh, you look <laughs> very much worse for wear. You're going left and down. You know, you've got over the hard bit. Now, I don't know where's a good opportunity there's BTs there, so not that way. Stop. <laughs> okay, so we're off the network, which means that the ladder was on the network, so it's probably going to deteriorate quickly because it's in the snow. Okay, I can get to this bit, we can then start to rappel down. So then you go. Rest up, Sam. Stop walking. You know, the way down is going to be a lot easier. But again, it might be very steep. you got repelling gear, so it's all good. <laughs> You'd repair the damaged cargo containers. I know that it's a bit fit. Huh? 
What's that one? Oh, that's the, uh, the collection one. Okay, you are literally, literally there. No, don't do something stupid. I don't think we need to use the pun gear. I might actually just go across this ridge here. As much as we are seemingly headed into time for territory, I don't think there are BTs here that are close enough, so this is good. Punch yourself too hard, your maximum stamina, I noticed. Okay, well, you gotta go down at some point. I see the BTs over there, but we're not going into that territory. We're just going to this ridge so that we can walk along it. <laughs> and not get caught in an invisible wall there, Sam. I know it's very, very, very windy here. <laughs> but you're fine. You've got this. Maybe should have taken an old terrain skeleton. That would have probably been the cleverest thing to do because considering we knew that we were gonna it's only crypto right? it's not a <laughs> bt it's fine i'm greedy <laughs> that was a very dangerous maneuver that's it eat the cryptites for the blood that you lost sliding down the hill Okay, and then we're going to walk up this ridge very nicely to the top of this mountain and not slide down your face down the mountain at all. <laughs> Copium. And then we're going to rappel down to our destiny. Because I'm sure that it will be just on the other side of this mountain. Okay, you got this, that. Easy. And sensibly, <laughs> even though the game devs programmed the way to not be really meant to be walked. Rest of the bit. Okay, actually, turns out I might need you to fully rest now. I'm just gonna. I don't know why it wasn't letting me drink the monster energy there. Container is ruined, but not the antibiotics themselves. Even though they did take a ridiculous tumble. Okay, you got this. You are not going to pager on these very easy to mantle up blocks, are you? Okay. <laughs> He's decided to pick up the pace rather concerningly. Because when he does that. He loves to go take a dive off a mountain. I don't want him to do that. Okay, so that's our destination. And I should be sensible. <laughs> Let's be sensible. Okay, you got plenty of climbing anchors. Okay, down we go. This will definitely go all the way down <laughs> like i could navigate it but sam's call of the void is too much for me we've got plenty of rope to do this and <laughs> yeah, sam would have taken a dive okay and then we're on nice easy i say slope but he will definitely not he sped up to do a dive there. Don't want you to do that, Sam. Okay, I will be sensible about this. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, and then hopefully it looks like nothing else is standing between us and our destination. Okay, the cargo containers rooms. You might need to. Be a little less careful. <laughs> you got this, Sam. 
I'm sure that the antibiotics aren't completely ruined. <laughs> Wait, let's do this. Very, very hard delivered. 1.5 kilos of antibiotics. Delivery, Delivery mate. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You the now this might seventy-eight percent. Oof. <laughs> Sign is just battered up and a little crushed up. The antibiotics still work. Okay, we took it to the doctor first, and then we took it all the way around the mountain. It's a very interesting path we took there. Come on, connect us up. C rank. So close. You couldn't. It's. I understand. <laughs> I understand. It's deserved. She says she's feeling better already. Good. But I'm not kidding myself. Even if they did work that fast, the doctor said she needs a lot more than antibiotics. She's carrying our child. I want her looked at as soon as possible. Please, I need you to go to the doctor for me. He's got some kind of machine. Thinks it might help. <laughs> Don't make me take her over the mountain to the doctor. And someone needs to go and fetch it. Okay, as long as it's only a fetch job, as long as I'm not carrying her over the mountain. Because <laughs> she ain't living through that, and the baby. Nope, they would die. They would not live. <laughs> okay, so that's urgent! Oh, that's an hour. Okay. I mean, you know, with an urgent delivery, I would want to go take until so very fragile. I mean, it's literally the story mission. <laughs> Wait, why can't I take it? There we go. Accept the order. The clients requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. I noticed. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now, the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do. Choose carefully! I choose to steal everything and pop. No, I take the blood bag as well. Choose carefully! I steal everything. <laughs> I might need it all. <laughs> Choose carefully. It's better to have everything than not have anything that we need. Order assigned. Delivery parameters okay. updated. Time limit set. I mean, we got an hour Sam, to deliver everything. I've gone ahead and put a time limit on this I order. noticed. You can still deliver the cargo after it runs out. And I want you to move Helen Earth to get there before it does. I know we keep piling things on you, but your BB unit can wait a little longer. And besides, beefing up the chiral network there should help it get better faster. But... Okay, I mean, Timefall... The Timefall is actually not on us, the Timefall is behind us. Okay, so they might have actually made it easier to get there and run. Never... <laughs> We can do this, and because of the way that they've done this, okay, so what we should do, floating carrier, offload, confirm, choose carefully, I choose smartly, and then we put everything that's heavy, Wait, I mean, actually I've just got a lot of stuff, where's the actual stuff? Where's the actual... Is it the high capacity blood bag? I don't know what the stuff is that we are meant to be actually taking. Ladder, climbing anchor, PCCs, blood bag. The boots aren't going to be that much. 
Where's the actual car going? How do I collect this again? Attack carrier, okay. That's not the mountain. All right, we're gonna go. There's BTs that way. Okay, that way is where we need to go. We're gonna go. <laughs> and we're not gonna slide on our face down the mountain. That is the way, right? Just triple check. Okay, there's no snow. There's no BTs. Although I see one in the far distance. Right, we got this. Did it? It's not going to take us an hour. But I don't know. What are we picking up? Chirelium hidden in the snow. <laughs> okay, and if we need ladders and things, we take it out. And, you know, if we need to go up, we take stuff off the things. But... Mostly, we're just going to go down the mountain. Get off the mountain as quick as possible. <laughs> Thankfully, the time fall went away. Now, taking the carrier rock that is going to be a lot more challenging. So, you know, we just go down. And, you know, we made the hard work going up. Usually, stuff is going down. <sighs> it's a shame we don't have two of them. What would have been really good is if I could have, like, sledded down on one. Because that would have been pretty cool. <sighs> okay, it is nice that they are dropping off Kyrelium, because if they didn't... <laughs> I have been kind of... flamboyant with my use of it. And... You know, that is not very good for the uh, the floating platform. Because if it runs out of Kyrelium, it just stops functioning. Okay, this is pretty steep. I am concerned about this. Pretty steep, but it's okay. Okay, we're going to get to this doctor. <laughs> and we're going to drop off this stuff. Because it's time sensitive. And so I'm sure that we're not going to end up wedged in a mountain. We've got one ladder if it comes down to it. <laughs> and we've got some uh, climb anchors, you know. There's things that we can do to navigate around if we need to. Okay, we need to go far left. Not seeing any BTs, which is good. There was Kyrelium there, I probably should have taken. I don't know how much we're using here, but... We really could use all the extra Kyrelium we could get. <laughs> Not easy to see in the snow, but I saw it. Okay, that's a charger. And then we're back on the network. Now... <laughs> I don't like the look of that. <laughs> I think we will not be going straight down that way. <laughs> There'll be Stonehenge. <sighs> okay, but we are kind of getting there. Okay, this is where my ladder was, right? Take everything, put it on our back. Bam. Okay, and then we need to make a thing to go down. We're doing this very sensibly. <laughs> okay, we can reattach the cargo carrier and see they've used it once we're down there, but very, very sensibly here. Got plenty of time. We avoided the BTs by going <laughs> over this cliff. Because I would rather do that than, you know, have to outrun three chimeras with this very time-sensitive stuff that probably would get smashed up. Okay, Stonehenge. Okay, so 
So we need to get back into our cargo and load some carrier offloads. It's a shame you can't do this like easier. Open the cargo. Right, okay. Everything that's on our back needs to go back onto carrier to make it easier. Next. Okay. The rain. Why are you carrying things? Why did you take them off of the carrier? I needed the extra weight to make sure that <laughs> I maintained an even weight. No, Sam. That was just stupid. Like, I was holding those to maintain balance. <laughs> so I'm holding these boxes. Yeah, but you didn't really need to do it like that, did you, Sam? You really didn't need to take them off of the, uh, the carrier to do that. You know what? <laughs> you can carry those ones on your back for that. That's your penance. What is it? Is that just someone's side that's making that noise? Okay. I thought that was a, uh, did a Kyrelian. That's Kyrelium. Okay, 320 kilos of ceramic, so I'll take those. I'm gonna shift them on the floating carrier though. Rare whiskey for the doctor! Okay, we've got more stuff for the dock. Okay, I mean, I know that we lost like 800 kilos of stuff on the exploding truck that blew up right here, or somewhere around here. Onto the carrier. We got this, no problem. <laughs> do, 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 do. That way. There's BTs again. I see someone in the distance. This is a lot of stuff. I am. Um, yeah, I am greedy. <laughs> Why is there so much lost cargo here? Is it because it's an uh, interesting area that people have probably died to a million BTs? That are thankfully not here because of the time-based mission that we're on. Am I that green green? Like, we're on a time constraint here, but that's just ceramics. Ceramics are good, but... <laughs> Bam! This is why we got an hour. Okay, that's all on the carrier. Can we put the stuff that's on your back on the carrier as well? Let's go. <laughs> don't get too distracted by all the lost cargo, Sam. I don't care about chemicals. You keep them. <laughs> is this the right way? It is. Okay. If we see a bike or a car, the stuff are mounting up. Why are you looking behind you, Sam? This isn't even proper BT territory. I mean, it probably is intended to be BT territory, but they're not here right now because the time fall went away. Because of the way that we did things. And because of this time based mission. So, you know, you're all good. What is that symbol? That symbol's a new one. Okay, I'm so greedy. I'll take the fresh water. <laughs> okay. Fine. Alright, keep on keeping on. No BTs to worry about. I should go get these Karelian crystals just because we're using this and the stuff for the doctor as well you know again we're going to the doctor this is fine there's no bts here <laughs> why is someone left a sign that says mules this isn't mule territory da, 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 da. okay so let's detach this let's just Load everything onto our back, and then we're getting on this bike. 
fastest loader known to man. He's actually pretty good at it, to be fair. Sam! It turns out that actually the bike's broken. There's no need to be bad and <laughs> throw the cargo away. There was no need for that. <laughs> Just because the bike broke. There's no need to throw a strop and throw the cargo away. Come on. Yeah, sorry. Okay, ten minutes. Right. That was someone's lost cargo. Inherited accessories. Okay. I think we got out of there just in time as the snow came back. Okay, yeah, no, we got out of there just in time because the BTs are back. That was close. That was close. <laughs> okay, you know what? We should uh, go this way because I kind of know this way is okay to go down for us. <laughs> Chemicals! You're not going to bother. Yeah, we wasted a bit too much time offloading all the stuff to try to shove it on the bike to only notice that the, uh, the, the bike was broken. I guess our stuff's getting ruined by the snow, but... We're also almost out of it, so it's all good. Again, you build that bridge in the world's stupidest place. <laughs> we never take repair spray. We really don't need it. Okay, let's go. Right, to the doctors. If there's a car <laughs> that's not ruined... We might get in a car. Okay. I'm surprised it's still snowing out here. To be fair. Come on, Sam. You can make this. Let's uh, run on the path. Because, you know... <laughs> you wouldn't want you slipping and falling. <laughs> at this stage of the game. Okay. I know we need to go to the doctors, but if I come in here, we can take a car and drop off whatever comes in here, and then drive it to the doctors. <laughs> okay, take delivery, there's some lost cargo, fresh water, very fresh, right, don't entrust these, we're going to take them. What do you got now? <laughs> Sorry to impose. What now? And you got fresh water. Enjoy. Okay. I mean, again, you know, I don't necessarily need a vehicle to get to the doctors, but you know, we're going to get through this. Thank you. You get through this, no problem. And 60 minutes was loads of time for that. Let's face it. New orders available. Anything going to the doctors? Roboticist to the doctor? Okay, I'll take it. Don't need anything else. I'm gonna take a truck. I'll take... You really... These long range truck there. I'll take this one out. Leave the vehicle. It's interesting that these ones that uh, these ones that I've stolen from other people before. Okay. Everything gets loaded into the vehicle. Carrier stuff also needs to get loaded into the vehicle. Because otherwise it's gonna get missed. Okay. And we're gonna head out and we're gonna finish this delivery! I'm also going to pick up the carrier because <laughs> it was handy. We definitely made use of all of the stuff that we got given. 
I don't know, the freak necessarily needed to use everything, but the carrier was definitely And, you know, <laughs> the smartest thing to do was prepare for every eventuality. So, we used one of the, uh, the climbing hooks as well, so that wouldn't work. Where's that going? I just summoned somatic maids. Don't care. I mean, you really have put this in the most awful position, haven't you? Like, literally just to block off the way. <laughs> That's the entire reason you build that bridge. Just to kind of block off the way and be annoying. Try, especially with the loading, carefully not to fly off of the cliff whilst we go over here. Someone's very, very rusty truck. And we got all the medicine supplies delivered. Sam, access the delivery terminal. Yeah, no shit. I know how to make a delivery by now. <laughs> delivery bait. The Mountaineer just contacted me. The treatment I prescribe isn't working. We need to act fast. I hope the antibiotics would alleviate the worst of the symptoms, but it looks like we're past that stage. An infection like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number Oh, unless of it's a retrieval, that'd be even worse, because then we've got to get back. <laughs> there is a risk she could suffer brain damage, even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non- I don't know how you get to see this with them or not. <laughs> but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but yeah, I kind of guessed, so don't drive the truck up the mountain. Oh, and thank you. Because it'll break. But we have left a um, way to climb back up on the way, haven't we? Okay. But, <laughs> we will complete this order next time. <laughs> actually, we need to, like, drop off some actual things here. Like, we actually have stuff for you, Doc. Make delivery, I have stuff for you, Doc. But yeah, that'll be next time. Thank you, everyone, that has followed today. Leopard Cake and Galaxy Walls 92. And also, hello to everyone else that came over. B XXB Water, who was here and working and working. And also, Senzu Bean, who oh, came and popped a lot. You Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. I'll be back on Wednesday with something else. Excellent. Everything I'll appears catch to be in perfect condition. Next time. Everything's in perfect condition. This urgent delivery that we definitely need to make. We just found these on the mountain on the way back down. <laughs> Yeah, it's like climbing back up. Well, he's gonna give us a gift star, isn't he? We can rest in this shelter. Rare cargo. So maybe we'll actually rest in the shelter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I came across something I. It's the star, isn't it? <laughs> da -da -da. Yeah, that'll all be next time on Death Stranding. Fifth star, five star service. Let's go. I do so enjoy your visit, Sam. Even an old man like me can find. It's taking too long talking. We've got a very, very urgent delivery to make, you know, for next time. <laughs> Good work. New work. Okay, thirteen minutes to come down, and you know we've got an hour. Like you know, I'm sure it won't take that long to get back up the mountain at all. <laughs> go for him. But yeah, that'll be next time, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye 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 bye.